Jennifer Lopez is the rudest celebrity ever. JLo, why are you suddenly talking so much When she has drivers, the number one rule she has for them is they can't look at her. JLo was just straight up a mean girl. She was probably the rudest and the biggest diva. Told a salesperson to stop looking at her and to turn the other way. She will go out of her way to make sure you get fired. She is like this cold ice queen. Kelly Rowland just went off on Jennifer Lopez and spilled the tea about how JLo has been secretly sabotaging her for years now. There have been rumors over the years about JLo's awful behavior and how she allegedly treats people around her like garbage. But no one expected Kelly Rowland, of all people, to also be a victim of JLo's behavior, especially since Kelly has done nothing but show her love. Kelly was initially hesitant to go back and forth with her because we all know our good sis Kelly likes to stay out of drama. Oh, but she is not planning on letting JLo disrespect her either, and now she clapping back. But are we really surprised? This mean girl behavior from JLo is nothing new, and there's actually an ongoing hate train against JLo because of all this. Things have gotten so bad for her that she literally had to cancel her world tour because of poor ticket sales. Literally nobody wants to see her perform, y'all. That's how much people don't like her now. A blind item from her camp spilled the tea about this when they said, As I told you what happened, no one wants to see the A-list perform and she's canceling concerts right and left, Jennifer Lopez. On top of that, she and Ben Affleck are in the second season of their failed romance, and she's been barely getting any brand deals. In fact, she's also been accused of getting a lot of TikTok pages banned or deleted every time they make a video about her and all her shady behavior. The worst one was when she allegedly got the account of TikToker Kyle Marissa banned. The reason why she got this account banned is because she made a TikTok video going in on JLo for her behavior and her affiliations with Diddy. Of course, JLo didn't like this, especially since the video went viral and she used her connections to get Kyle's account banned. Mind you, Kyle was using this money that she made from the app to pay for their cancer treatments. Not too long after JLo got the account banned, she wasn't able to fund her treatment anymore and eventually dropped in. In fact, before Kyle died, she came out and revealed that JLo was the one behind her account getting banned. Where I had no idea that Kyle had lost her account that she was dealing with colon cancer and that she lost her account in the middle of this battle and it was having a significant impact on her finances. And I certainly didn't know the reason why she lost her account until the lemon tagged this creator who had gone back and given us one of Kyle's last videos talking about how JLo had made sure that her account was taken down on TikTok. This article in Forbes magazine details exactly what happened between Jennifer Lopez and Kyle, and it reads, TikTok creator Kyle Marissa said that our account had received copyright strikes on every single video that contained footage from the greatest love story ever never told. As a result, her account is now permanently banned. JLo's narcissism single-handedly crushed the main portion of my small business, Kyle Marissa said. I didn't even have the opportunity to download or save four years worth of my content that had been viewed over a billion times and accused accumulated over 50 million likes. Kyle Marissa has since created a new account but lamented the four years of hard work that was put into building her sizable TikTok following of almost 700,000, having lost hundreds of thousands of followers from the ban. She told me that her earning potential has been severely impacted by the loss of her account, estimating that JLo has cost me more than four figures of income just for March 2024, which affects her ability to access necessary medical care. Kyle Marissa has lost her life while JLo still runs around this world with some semblance of a career. She robbed me of everything. And if I die of colon cancer, it's on her. As if that wasn't bad enough, JLo was also put on blast for getting a bunch of people kicked out of the movies so only her and her family could be there. Even after those people bought their tickets and made their way to the movies that day. Jennifer Lopez is being canceled after people have come forward and shared some wild stories about her. Recently, a lot of people have come forward and shared their 
stories about Jennifer Lopez being, well, I, I guess what she's known for. In one of these stories about meeting Jennifer, she apparently wanted to go to the movie theater and watch a movie, but as the story goes, she couldn't just go to the theater and watch a movie because apparently Jennifer bought six tickets in a specific theater, and she basically demanded that nobody that wasn't with her be in that specific theater when she was watching the movie. She also apparently would not go through the front door of the theater, so the employees had to let her into the theater through a back way, but that back way also happened to be where the dumpsters were, and Jennifer did not want to see any trash, so they basically spent a long time cleaning out that way just for her arrival. And according to the person telling the story, other celebrities like Justin Bieber also visited that theater, and he just entered through the front door like a normal person, no special demands. In another story, someone was at their school as Jennifer Lopez was coming through, and they were apparently shoved by her bodyguard, and the bodyguards made sure that nobody was allowed to get near Jennifer. Now, there are tons more stories about Jennifer that people have been sharing everywhere, but I think you guys sort of get the point and understand exactly why she is being canceled. But it turns out not even her fellow celebrities are excluded from her insufferable behavior. Because word on the street is, she sabotaged Kelly Rowland's career at one point. Now, I'm sure y'all have heard about all the drama that's been going on with Kelly these last few months, especially after she recently had to check a woman at the Cannes Film Festival who was her on camera and rushing her to get off the red carpet. This was an extremely embarrassing moment for Kelly, and when she was asked about it during an interview, she got visibly upset and almost started crying. The, the woman knows what happened. I know what happened. And um, I have a boundary, and I stand by those boundaries, and that is it. And there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me. And they didn't get there, scolded or pushed off or told to get off. And um, I stood my ground. And she felt like she had to stand hers, but I stood my ground. Now, this may seem a bit drastic for some of y'all, but there has been a lot of things leading up to this that Kelly was upset about. And word on the street is, JLo had a whole lot to do with it. If y'all remember, Kelly was trending a few months ago after she was getting disrespected by multiple talk show hosts back to back while she was on a press run for her recently released film, Mia Culpa. The first one happened while she was getting interviewed about her new movie. Instead of keeping the conversation around Kelly and her new film, the talk show host, Big Tigger, started asking her about Beyonce. Uh, your sister dropped a whole new uh, couple of songs, and it's my understanding that Renaissance 2 may or may not be um, country-based. Uh, and then there's a rumor going around that Renaissance 3 may be either rock-based or a DC reunion. That is her business to talk about. <laughs> Well, we still got to ask every time we see either you. We never see Freddie. Come on. I know, but just ask them. I'm here talking about Mia Copa. Okay. okay. Talking about new music, you know, all the talk this week has been about Beyonce's new album. Have you heard it yet? Have you had an opportunity to give some thoughts on the whole thing? I sure have. It's great. It's absolutely great. Really different, though, right? Yes, really different. Is that... But getting back to what I'm here to talk about, yeah. Claritin, um, I'm very <laughs> excited to be teaming up with Claritin. Now, if y'all thought that was humiliating, wait till y'all hear the BS she had to go through after that. So, Kelly was supposed to be a co-host on the Today Show, right? And they even promised to set her up with a huge dressing room since she was going to be a host that day. According to sources who spoke exclusively to Page Six, Kelly was scheduled to be a guest on the show at 8 a.m. and was then going to also fill in for Jenna Hager at 4 p.m. later that day as a guest host. However, after after 11 a.m., she dramatically walked out of the show after she found out her dressing room was not up to the standard she was promised. She was supposed to have a huge dressing room when she and her team can easily move around, but they changed that last minute and gave her the dressing room the size of a closet and expected her to just be okay with it. Once Kelly called them out and walked out, NBC started paying blogs to write about it and purposely painting her out as some self-absorbed diva when all she was asking for was some respect. Now, I know y'all may be wondering what the hell this has to do with J-Lo. Well, it turns out the reason 
reason they threw Kelly and her team out of that dressing room and gave her the closet size room is specifically because J-Lo asked to have that room. Even after she was informed, it had been reserved specifically for Kelly. The rumors about J-Lo snatching that dressing room came and got even worse after the popular former talk show host Meghan McCain also came out of the woodworks to bash J-Lo for being unlikable and having a nasty attitude. While she was going in on J-Lo, she revealed that J-Lo had the biggest entourage she had ever seen, and even said that J-Lo's entourage is much larger than Kim Kardashian, even the president. Immediately, she said that people started to speculate if the reason why they gave Kelly's dressing room to J-Lo was because J-Lo brought along too many people. She asked them to move Kelly so she could get Kelly's dressing room instead. Experience that I was a host at The View. It was not nice. She was not nice. Okay, and I'm like, whatever. You don't always have to be so nice, but it was just surprising given that people like Kim Kardashian couldn't be more delightful. She had the biggest entourage I've ever seen, like of a celebrity, more than Kim Kardashian and more than the president. Like I've never seen, like, and I just don't really understand what, why it was needed. But people were not having it when they heard this and they dragged JLo for filth. Like this person who said, I agree, but at the end of the day, why was she, the guest host, not given a better room? It should have been reserved for her. JLo was the guest, not the guest host. Kelly was disrespected. Chell, one thing JLo always gonna do is give you a million reasons why you shouldn't like her. Anyway, going back to her and Kelly, people did a little bit of digging after this and went down the rabbit hole. It turns out that Kelly's actually one of the few people who has publicly praised her and shown her love. Not too long ago, she revealed herself in an interview with The Insider that she was a big fan of JLo and that JLo was actually the one who inspired her to start working out. She said, Jennifer Lopez is my motivation. I'm not even joking. Her body is killing. But it looks like despite all the respect that Kelly has been showing to J-Lo, J-Lo still went out of her way to humiliate Kelly for no reason. As usual, people had a whole lot to say about this, like this person who said, I'm here for this to be honest. She's been giving off that vibe like her don't stink and people are finally sick of it. Her failing concert sales should prove to her that she's nothing without her fans slash the public. She's getting what she deserves. Be humble, girl. Another person said, JLo strikes me as the kind of woman who would sleep with their bosses to get ahead in their career. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about JLo sabotaging Kelly? And do y'all really think she's the mean girl that people are trying to paint her out to be? Y'all been knew what to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.